This year, Formula One celebrates its 1,000th Grand Prix, and it happens to be also the 125 years of uh, Mercedes Motorsport. Looking back at Mercedes's history in motor racing, there's great moments that come to my mind. The fantastic years with uh, Sir Sterling Moss and Juan Manuel Fangio in the famous Silver Arrows, and uh, our consecutive successes in DTM. We are the most successful participant in the DTM series, Formula 3 titles, and uh, obviously five uh, Formula One titles, uh, five double titles, and uh, that is something we can be proud of. When you read about the historic Silver Arrows, one name sticks out, and that is Hans Hermann. He was hired as the young guard to challenge the older, more established drivers. My Anfänge bei Mercedes waren 1954. Der damalige Rennleiter Alfred Neubauer, der Rennleiter wurde von Mercedes beauftragt, wieder in das Formel 1 Geschäft einzusteigen. Und da kam ich dann in das Team zu Johann Manuel Fangio, der der beste Rennfahrer war, und zu dem altbewährten Fahrer Karl Twing. Ich fuhr eben in diesen 50er Jahren die Fahrzeuge, die da aktuell waren. Und das war eben der W196, der Formel 1, und natürlich auch der 300 SLR. Der W196, den ich ja damals fuhr, das war in den 50er Jahren, äh, war nicht so einfach zu fahren, aber es war an sich ein Fahrzeug wie ein normales Auto auch. Das heißt, man musste bei dem Wagen natürlich eine gute körperliche Kondition, Kondition haben. Meine persönliche Lieblingserinnerung bei Mercedes waren eben die Rennen, die ich eben gewinnen konnte. Ja nun, ich glaube, es gibt auf der Welt kaum eine Firma, die so eine riesen, wenn man an 125 Jahre denkt, äh, Tradition hat wie Mercedes-Benz. Und dann hat Mercedes sich halt, ich fuhr ja viele andere Fahrzeuge auch, und Marken hat sich dadurch besonders ausgezeichnet, dass sie nicht nur schnell waren, sondern dass sie eben auch recht zuverlässig waren. Bis heute. Norbert Hauck carried the baton of Mercedes Motorsport for a very long time. And he's one of the founding fathers of the Mercedes Formula One team today. Well, I think the model range was quite a different one to what uh, Mercedes has today, obviously. But if you look back in the 90s, uh, the task was to change the image a little bit, to get more sporty. Then uh, Mr. Hubert, who was the responsible board member for passenger cars, uh, said to me, motorsport is communication. And I think that was a very good and very important sentence, a great vision he has had. And uh, I think what happened since then, the last 30 years, just shows that uh, the brand uh, developed in a very, very positive direction, in a very good direction, that uh, the brand is very successful, has a good spirit, a competitive spirit. And so I think the starting point at the beginning of the 90s was a very important one. I was very lucky at the, at the end of uh, 1989, after a uh, successful year in the German uh, Formula 3 Championship, I was part then of the Mercedes-Benz Junior team uh, with Michael Schumacher and Heinz-Harald Frenzen. We had the privilege to join the, the Sauer Mercedes Group C team and yeah, I mean uh, at this time actually my professional uh, motorsport career started. So I was involved in a, in, a, in a very big professional factory team. I got a little bit of salary and uh, then I'm, I was really uh, from that time on a professional racing driver and I think it was a, a, very, a very big lift up for my career at this time, at the end of 1989. One of the favorite memories was my first race at the start of the season in 1990. This was the first race of the season in Suzuka in Japan. And I arrived there and I didn't know really what to expect because honestly speaking, um, some, at some test sessions my performance was not the best. Um, I was still a little bit uh, not too comfortable in the car and then I arrived in Suzuka the first time there, didn't know the circuit. Uh, and I thought, okay, whatever you do now, just to try to do your best. And then it, it worked out quite well. I could finish uh, the race second together with Jochen Maas and my lap times were, were quite competitive and I finished second in my first race in Group C and I think it is one of the best memories I have. You know, we, we started with McLaren in Formula One and you always will remember your first victory in Formula One. This was 97 in Melbourne with David Coulthard. We painted a car in a new design, in a silver design. It's, uh, you can see it behind us, the, the car is the 98 car. 
So one year later in 98, we won the first world championship with Mika. And uh, well, that was a big starting point for great, huge success in Formula One. Norbert, amongst others, took the risk in joining Formula One and was able to keep the, the, the engagement up for many years that were very difficult years. And after 2014, we were able to harvest um, the pain and the effort that was being put into the sport by Norbert and its colleagues. And the team right now, the works team is continuing. They won five world championships in a row, which is absolutely remarkable. And nobody, no other team did a better job in the history of Formula One than they are doing currently. Motor racing is the DNA of Mercedes. Whether we win or we lose, we will be always trying to do our best. It is always very difficult to acknowledge what you are doing whilst it's happening for the history of Mercedes-Benz in Formula One. But I would very much hope so that if we are looking back in 20 or 30 years, that we will acknowledge the late 2010 years as one of the most successful periods of Mercedes in Formula One.